Happy New Year, everybody! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Smita. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be my first video of 2019, and I wanted to start this year with a bang. This is one of my favorite looks of Priyanka Chopra from her Mumbai reception. In fact, this is my favorite look of all her wedding looks. So here it is. I hope you enjoy this video, and without further ado, let's get this started. To achieve that fresh glowy base makeup, I've already washed and exfoliated my face and now I'm going to apply a very thick moisturizer with a duo fiber brush. This is the Sunny Face Contour Cream and it's made with fresh rose petals and it smells so darn good. For primer, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. I'm going to be using the same duo fiber brush to apply it. And then I'm going to apply a lip balm on my lips to keep it soft and supple and ready for the lipstick that comes at the very end. And the lip balm that I'm using is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Balm in Love. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. This is a 24-hour foundation, a long-lasting one. And I'm going to be applying it with the Flat Top Kabuki Brush from Hip Dot. My shade is Olive and this is a full coverage foundation. As you can see, it's covering all my imperfections so beautifully. Priyanka had a very light contour. It almost seemed like she used a blush to contour or a light bronzer to contour her face. But I have to contour my face. This is an inspired look, so it's not going to be exactly like hers because our face shapes are so different. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Commie Maple and lightly contouring my face. I'm going to be blending everything out with a damp beauty sponge and my beauty sponge is from Studio 35. And to highlight my face, I'm going to be using the Elegal Pro Conceal in Pure Beige on the high planes of my face and again blending everything out with a damp beauty sponge. When you do inspired looks, just remember that to achieve a certain look, you have to work the makeup according to your face shape and skin texture. You cannot use the same products in the same style that the celebrity has used on your face. That's not going to work out because everybody's face shapes are different, skin textures are different and we look different. So if somebody has high cheekbones and they've applied a contour in a certain way and you do not have high cheekbones, if you try to apply the contour in the same way, it'll be a disaster. So you have to work according to your face shape. To prevent the concealer around my eyes from creasing because that's where I have fine lines, I'm going to be setting it with some airspun loose powder in translucent and to set it I'm going to be using a flat highlighter brush. And then I'm taking this large powder brush from Charlotte Cook. This is a super soft synthetic brush. And I'm going to use the same airspun powder, very lightly dusting it around my face to set it. There was definitely visible blush on her face. So I'm going to be using the Sigma Aura powder in pink. And I'm going to be applying this again with a wet and wild synthetic brush on the high points of my cheekbones. At this point, I'm going to quickly set my base makeup with the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. The most important step in achieving that glow is to use a highlighter. And today I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Highlighter in Precious Petals. With the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush F35, I'm going to be applying this on the high planes of my face first. And then I'm going to use my powder puff to slowly dab it in so it gives you that subtle glow as opposed to a very powdery glow. And that finishes up my base makeup. We'll come back to the lipstick later, but first let's get done with the eye makeup. Before I use the eyeshadows, I always like to dust some powder underneath my eyes to collect any fallouts and it's easier to dust it off later. Priyanka's brows were filled in, but they always look very naturally filled in, nothing over the top. First with the Ardell Brow Grooming Pencil, which is basically a brow wax, I'm going to tame my brows to keep it in shape. Thank you. 
And then to fill in my brows, I'm taking this dark brown shade from the Coastal Sense Brow Palette. With my Doe Color Angled Brush, I'm going to fill in the sparse areas. And then I'm taking my spoolie again from Doe Color and I'm going to comb my brow hair gently just so the color spreads across evenly. I'm not going to be applying any color in the inner part of my brows to keep it looking very natural. Using the Wet n Wild highlighter in Precious Petals again, I'm going to be highlighting my brow bones using the Wet n Wild flat shader brush. For her eye makeup, she went with the light smoky eyes with a very light shimmer on her lid. I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. First, I'm taking Zulu with a small blending brush. This one is from Doe Color. And I'm going to be first carving out my crease. Next with the Carity E31 which is a larger blending brush, I'm taking a little bit more of the same color and I'm going to be blending and softening everything up in the crease and pulling some of the color into my lid. Before I use the shimmer on my lid, I want the sticky base that the shimmer can adhere to. So I'm going to be using the Carity Pre-Shadow Primer. I'm going to dab it in the area where I'll be applying the shimmer and I'm going to spread it out using my finger. On top of this, I'm going to be applying a light anti-gold shimmer called Dahia. I'm going to be applying it with the Urban Decay Naked 3 flat shader brush and almost creating a half cut crease. Using my Carity blending brush once again, just to make sure there's no harsh lines or edges left, I'm going to blend out everything. I'm taking Zulu once again with a small definer brush from Coastal Scents and I'm going to be smoking this out in the entire lower lash line. I'm not going to be using any more eyeshadows, so it's safe to dust out all the excess powder. In the waterline, I'm going to be using my favorite Jordana Easy Liner in black. Now her lashes look very natural. I'm not sure if she called it done with some mascara or she had any falsies on, but I will be applying some falsies. First, I'll curl my lashes. And for false lashes, I'm going with these very natural looking false lashes from Ardell in 110. Yes. I'm going to be highlighting my inner corners with the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlighter and then I'm going to call it done on my eye makeup by applying a coat of mascara. On her lips she went with a crimson brown color. And to achieve that color, I'm going to be mixing two lipsticks. The first one is from DNC Color. This is the Lip Crayon in Red Hot, which is a beautiful crimson red. And for that brown tinge, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Lipstick in Cashmere. This is a beautiful satin brown color. I'm going to be applying this on top of the crimson red to achieve the final result. So first, I'm applying the DNC Lip Crayon in Red Hot. And now the Wet n Wild lipstick in Cashmere to get that final result. To make it convenient for you guys, I've listed other lipsticks of similar colors in the description box below. Now all we need to finish up this look is a statement necklace, some stunning earrings to go with the statement necklace, and a blue langa. All my jewelry is from Bangalore. I made the bustier for the langa myself and the skirt itself is from a local store here in San Francisco. As many of you had requested for me to do this look without the sindoor, I'm not going to keep the sindoor, I'm going to make it more universal. But feel free to keep the sindoor if that's your preference. And here is the completed look. I especially enjoyed recreating this because it was my favorite look from her entire wedding. Let me know your thoughts by commenting below. And as always, if you enjoyed watching me, don't forget to thumbs up. And if you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe. 
For your convenience, I'm listing all the products in the description box below. Also listed there, you'll find links to my social media accounts. So make sure you're following me on Facebook and Instagram to get all the inside scoop, where I travel, how I make my ensemble, my outfits, my jewelry, etc. I love you guys so much. Wishing you all a very happy and prosperous 2019. I'm looking for a wonderful year with all of you. And I will see you soon with a brand new tutorial. Bye, guys. Thank you.